we will see how to navigate blockchain so this is what we will be doing we will be seeing the people or the human entities and code involved in blockchain and how we can observe these entities and how we can interact with code that is using a d app and this process is very easy because all entities are addressed even transactions and why because blockchain is a globally distributed computer and database so everything and any event should be uniquely addressable so that it could be tracked so what are the different types of addresses in the blockchain we have externally owned addresses which represent wallet addresses or human owners of addresses so the metamask wallet that we created in the previous video or the metamask or the ethereum account that we created using using metamask wallet is an example of an externally owned address then we have smart contract addresses or addresses given to programs we even have unique alphanumeric representations for transactions happening in blockchain so that is known as transaction hashes or indices of transactions so anything and everything on blockchain is traceable so that's the most important thing we should understand okay so every event and entity on a blockchain is addressable what all information about these entities are kept so regarding externally owned addresses or addresses of human owners we have value balance and number of transactions that particular person have done from the point of creation of that wallet these things are kept track of so these are the two wallet addresses we will be using in this video so you can see that it is a 42 digit sized wallet address then regarding smart contracts or programs we keep track of the programs code and the state variables so if you see here the addresses are both 42 digits in length even if it is for a program or for a normal human wallet so the program that we will be referring to is a wrapped ether contract okay so it actually converts the ether that we give to another format erc20 format known as weth so that is the address we are going to refer to and how will we explore these addresses so the method that we are going to follow is using blockchain explorers they are external tools which are not part of the blockchain that is a very important topic we should understand then these tools often sync with blockchain data okay that's how they work they are not participants of blockchain but they get the blockchain data to make themselves useful so etherscan is a prominent blockchain explorer for ethereum ecosystem so etherscan.io is for the ethereum mainnet but we will be working on sapolia testnet so we will be using sapolia.etherscan.io so what are the basic things we can do using etherscan so we can look up what all things are at an address maybe the balance and the nonce information and other details and we can even use transaction hashes to check the details of a transaction and we can see the expenses incurred for each and every transaction so that is not the gas data that can also be seen but we won't be covering that in this video we will just see what are what all things are possible if we have an address and if we have a transaction hash looking up address state let's see a demo so these are the valid addresses we will be using for the demo so if you see here this is the account that i am having okay so i'll just take the second address which is one of my friends addresses so we'll take that then i will just try to initiate a send transaction okay so i'm just copying and pasting the address so and i will initiate a 0.1 send transaction okay so details are coming and i'm con doing a confirm okay now what i'm going to do is i will just check my account state okay for that i will just use sapolia ether scan i'm just going there then one way to see my address details is i need to copy and paste my address on the search bar 
okay so this is the search bar of either scan it's a poly either scan i'm copying and pasting my address so it will come and if we see here there are certain transactions shown but my latest transaction is not yet come here so i'll just put a refresh okay so this is the latest transaction that uh, that you can see okay so let it be there before that let's explore the either scans interface so we actually came from a search bar over here right we gave our address which needs to be tracked and we landed on a page so on the home page you can see your balance so that is one of your account state information that we saw in the presentation right so it is having point five and seven it's a poly ether then the next information that we saw was the nouns that is a number that keeps track of the number of transactions that we have initiated okay so if you see i initiated a transfer to one of my friends right so those those things will be written over here so all your transaction data will be hashed that is whatever transaction you do or which you are participant of it will be given a unique transaction hash and it will be listed over here and you can click on any of the transaction hash to see the details of transaction so that's how either scan works so then one more thing anything in blue is actually clickable okay so all the things are blue right the sender's address receiver's address everything is blue uh, the block number and transaction hashes are blue so all are clickable and you can actually navigate so we need to see the data regarding our last transaction so if you click on this transaction hash so if you see here it was done from our account that's my account to one of my friends account transfer value is 0.1 this much gas was consumed then if you see further the nonce value is 5 it means that this is around my sixth transaction so let's initiate one more transaction so let's pick up the address for that i'm taking that address then i'm issuing another cent okay so maybe somewhat lesser value okay i will just click confirm so the transaction has been done let me go to my page my addresses page okay so i'm waiting for the new transaction to come so you may observe that the current known value is 5 so let's see what happens so the non swells is supposed to be 6 next time so this is the latest transaction hash so if i go down it shows that i have sent something to this address so it's a new value that we have sent and if you see the non swell it is 6 so it means that the non swell is a value kept on the blockchain that gets incremented whenever you initiate a transaction so let's see whether we can go to either scan from metamask so if you see here metamask will have an activity section right so it is actually navigatable that is the latest transaction that you have on your page if you click on that its status on the block explorer could be explored or else you can copy the transaction id both operations are possible okay so if i copy the transaction id and if i go to either scan i can copy and paste the transaction hash then i can look up the transaction so the same data i can get that is one method or else i can directly navigate from the metamask to blockchain explorer using the hash using view on blockchain option so this is one of the handy options in metamask for every transaction done now uh, let us create a transaction apart from a normal send transaction and let us look up the transaction data in either scan So for that we will use a decentralized application or a dApp. They are hosted applications which will serve a connection to the backend smart contract programs, so that we can interact with them. So this is a, a typical dApp architecture. You as a user will be interacting with the web front end, and the front end will be interacting with the smart contract on the blockchain. Okay, so essentially removing the normal cloud from the back end and we are just placing this smart contract that's what is happening the front end is the same the normal web front end is used so usually this won't be possible because we need our private key to initiate transaction so what you are actually doing here is you are using a normal web front end to initiate transactions 
on the blockchain or on the smart contract okay so for that we require our private key so such an architecture is possible where the normal web front end which has an integrated wallet with it can sign transactions on our behalf so that it will go to a smart contract and hence it will go to the ethereum virtual machine so that's what we are going to see now so we will be using this particular decentralized application known as uniswap which is a simple swap application that is if you give a token of a particular kind it will give you a token of some other kind based on the value exchange so it is known as a decentralized exchange protocol and we are going to do a swap operation on uniswap so we will be using this link let's see the demo so from the link i have gone to uniswap application once we have landed we have to connect our wallet so click on click on connect then metamask option will be there click on metamask then you can see your address getting connected then it will show your sapolia eth balance then what we can do is we can give some eth to this application so that it will swap it and give us some other tokens so let's see what are the available tokens there is a wrapped ether token so it is a converter token that is it will actually take some amount of ether from you and give you wrapped ether which could be used with smart contracts okay so let's see that so suppose that i'm paying 0.1 of ether so it will give you back 0.1 wrapped ether okay so you click on wrap so this is happening on the web front end okay now our metamask is asking you should i give 0.1 ether to the smart contract representing this application so if you see here the total cost that you are going to do is 0.1 plus some other additional cost that is a gas fees okay so 0.1 and some amount is actually being taken out of your wallet so whether you are agreeing for that or not so you have to give confirm okay so you have to first ensure that you are actually being asked 0.1 either by this application or is it some other malicious application you have to always check it okay so you have to always check whether the operation that you are signing is the required operation that you are doing okay so always remember that whatever value you are going to do as transfer more than that you have to actually initiate the transfer because it will it will be used as a gas fee so you have to give confirm okay so the transaction data here is shown as pending so what are the various ways in which we can check this transfer so we can go to our either scan page all right then maybe what i can do is as i know that it is from my wallet i can take my wallet address then paste it here okay once i am on my page or my address is page you can just click refresh so you can see a new hash coming here 25 seconds ago so if you see here the transfer is from my account to a particular other address and if you see the address you can see that there is a script icon so that it, that shows that i interacted with a smart contract so let's see what that interaction was so if you see this interaction i called a deposit function that is i actually did a deposit on this particular smart contract so if you see here this script icon translates to contract in either scan okay so for how much value did i do i did for 0.1 eth and i did some fee i had to give some extra fees also so this, so this is the total amount that might have been taken from my account if you want to see more gas details you can click over here and if you can see that the nonce has changed to seven earlier for our transaction the nonce was six now this transaction is one extra so the nonce value is now seven okay so as i told you everything is addressed so from the transaction hash we actually came to the transaction then uh, we actually saw that uh, we actually interacted with the smart contract so if i click on this one i will get the information about this smart contract so this was the contract which we were going to see actually uh, we were actually going to see this sapolia wrapped either smart contract as part of our demo so we have actually reached there okay so the transactions that are happening with this smart contract is being shown so as you can see here the smart contracts balance is shown it can hold tokens then we need to see the smart contracts code right so there is a contract option over here if you click on that you can see the smart contracts code okay so this is the smart contracts code solidity code you can actually read through that 
it is a very short code actually okay then we can actually get information on the smart contract state that is the variables for that you can actually click read contract so it will actually show you the public variables that are listed with the contract so the name is actually having the value or ab either the variable symbol is having the value w e etc so regarding the functions we will see it in another video so this is how you will explore the smart contracts state from this page how can we get the details of a transaction so you have to go to this token tracker page of wrapped ether then we can verify ourselves as one of the holders of wrapped ether so i am entering my address so it will show that i have 0.1 wrapped ether in my account and if i click on this blue entry it will take to my address page then from there i have to look up the transaction that credited the wrapped ether so this is one thing now let's return back to metamask and see our token list you can see that wrapped ether is not shown it is because by default metamask supports only some tokens other tokens we have to import using import token option so in order to import a token we need the tokens contract address so the contract address of wrapped ether is this one you can copy it from here then what you have to do you have to go to your metamask address metamask wallet and click on import token then you have to paste that token address that we copied from over there so automatically the token symbol will be shown and other details will be shown you have to click next from here you can see that the balance is being shown so you have to click import okay so token has been imported this is how you can import wrapped ether now suppose that i need to convert back a wrapped ether so what i can do i will go to uniswap then this is the current state in which i have left earlier now i need to do a wrapped ether to either transaction so i can click on this arrow so this will swap so i have wrapped ether now i click i will click maximum so my entire point on wrapped ether will be now transferred to get me back either okay so i just click on unwrap then it will ask some confirmations so i have to give that so once it is done i will get back my ether or my wrapped ether balance will go to zero okay so how can i check the status if you see here the transaction will be shown as pending i can view it on block explorer that is support ether scan if i go there again i can see that i had i have initiated a transaction to this smart contract account and it is a withdraw function i am withdrawing back my ether by depositing or giving back my wrapped ether okay so what happens is transfer of point one will happen from smart contract to my address so such details will be shown in ether scan okay so now it's shown as success so the transfer has happened and see my tokens list you can see that my wrapped ether balance is zero but i got back my sapolia ether balance